People around the world today who enjoy the freedom of the 21st century owe a debt of gratitude to the leadership of Sir Winston Churchill. Battling tyranny with smarts, insight, and courage, Churchill was the anchor for a better, reformed world in the last century and thus contributed to a freer, flourishing world in ours. Yet for some, knowledge of that accomplishment may be fading. For others, they may not be aware of his early deeds as a social reformer in Great Britain. Winston Churchill was a man of his time, but he was also ahead of it. Before facing the evils of fascism, Churchill much earlier fought for pensions, unemployment insurance, and a minimum wage for the sweated trades, the left out millions as he called them. Churchill denounced an anti-Jewish bill that would have prevented immigration, Jewish immigration from Russia. He was critical of Boer racism, arguing, rightly, that South African blacks deserved legal equality with whites. And he was also critical of the discrimination against untouchables in India. Churchill fought for the advancement of freedom and equality of all peoples. He favored and fought for a free, flourishing world. But as the years progress, those with living memories of the great statesman pass on. The onus falls on today's generation to honor the legacy and accomplishments of Sir Winston Churchill. The Sir Winston Churchill Society of Calgary plans to do just that through the Churchill Leadership Initiative and Statue Project. Calgary, at the foot of the Canadian Rockies, is where Churchill visited in 1929 as part of his three-month North American tour, and it is where he painted some of his most sublime work. It is Calgary that will soon be home to the world's newest statue of Winston Churchill. The statue and a new speaker series will commemorate the admiration that Churchill had for Alberta and Canada that came from his 1929 visit. For example, on a clear day in August 1929, he stepped off the train in Calgary to gaze in awe at the glory of the Rockies and the beauty of the prairies before them. And as historian Andrew Roberts has noted, the only place that Churchill ever spoke of retiring to, apart from his home in Kent, was Alberta. Such was his love of the province and its sense of boundless possibilities. Also, in 1929, Churchill visited Alberta's Turner Valley oil fields. He was enthused with the entrepreneurial energy he saw there. Also, that year of some historical irony, Winston told his wife Clementine that if Neville Chamberlain ever became prime minister, he'd move to Alberta to become a rancher. We are all fortunate that he broke that promise. Back to our century. While it is popular for some to hold historical figures in contempt, Churchill's dedication to human flourishing and freedom and progress is a timeless contribution worth remembering. We've initiated this project for multiple reasons. To commemorate Churchill's 1929 visit and love for Canada, to honor his legacy and courage, and to introduce Winston Churchill to a new generation. Also, the statue is meant to pay tribute to the hundreds of Calgarians and the nearly 45,000 Canadians who fought and died in the Second World War to end tyranny. As part of the plinth, we will also remember our allies, over 382,000 Brits and nearly 417,000 Americans who perished in the Second World War. We will recall the 240,000 Poles, 87,000 East Indians, almost 40,000 Australians, 57,000 Filipinos, and nearly 12,000 New Zealanders who also gave their lives. We will also remember the resistance fighters from Poland, France, Norway, Denmark, Greece, and other nations who were all also indispensable to the war effort. They all fought to win back lands from tyranny and to restore ordered liberty around the world. The Churchill Leadership Initiative and Statue Project is already underway with tremendous support. Renowned sculptor Danik Mosdensky from Edmonton has been commissioned to create the Churchill statue. His past work includes Sir Isaac Brock, Prime Minister Lester Pearson, jazz artist Clarence Horatio Miller, former Alberta Lieutenant Governor Lois Hole, and Alberta suffragist Nellie McClung. The Calgary Churchill Society is on track to erect the statue in a prominent public place by August 24, 2021, the anniversary of Churchill's visit to Calgary. If you admire the legacy of Sir Winston Churchill, please help us ensure future generations do so as well. You can do so by supporting a renewal of respect for Sir Winston Churchill and all that he represents, democracy, sensible compassion, courage, all wrapped in his stellar leadership.
We seek no support from governments. The Churchill Society of Calgary aims to raise the money for the statue entirely from those who believe that the legacy and leadership of Sir Winston Churchill should be commemorated in Calgary. The Churchill Society of Calgary is a charitable organization and all donors will receive a tax receipt. To support the renewal and respect for Winston Churchill's courage, his leadership, his legacy, please look at our website at www.churchillcalgary.ca. Lastly, we wish to leave you with a thought from our patron, Randolph Churchill III. Thank you.